Hey everybody, just thought I'd share a little vid with um, this new little fellow uh, brought in the tank, uh, copper banded butterfly fish. Uh, appears that he had ick on him, so I have been treating him now for about thir uh, what am I at? about 40, 54 hours or so. Um, got the copper in there. It's just a little gallon nano, so I've been a couple drops in here. Um, what I've noticed with him is it seems like all the salty, grainy little pieces of ick that are on the fins inside have all fallen off. But if I can get him to turn, you can see that right there sticking out of the side of him. I'm guessing it's another parasite coming through the side of his body or something. I'm not 100% sure, so some comments from people, I've been looking online and they say it's a parasite or something coming out of his side. He's not eating. Um, he did at first a little bit, but I just put a little bit of mysis, I've tried a little bit of flake. So, not eating yet. Uh, he's still alert, still doing his twitching and all that kind of fun stuff. So. Hopefully he does all right. He's going to be in here for a week or so, maybe a couple weeks. I'm going to get a copper test kit just to make sure that the level is exactly where I need it to be. But uh, poor little dude. Hopefully we can get him to come back. I may have just eaten something there. I'm not sure. But yeah, if anybody knows what that little parasite is or whatever that is coming out of the side of them it would be greatly appreciated let's see if I can get another shot of that get him to turn keeps turning back the other way he must be ashamed of it come on little buddy there we go just behind his one fin, right on the side there, he always giving me a good shot of it. Tough to keep in. Uh, it's not great to focus. But anyway, yeah, if anybody knows, uh, I'd appreciate it. They know that there's a different treatment that I gotta do to try and get that dealt with. I mean, he's swimming in the current there and, and from the from the little pump that's in this thing. So I don't know, he seems a little bit more alert now than he was before. But, uh, as he just sort of falls down sideways in the back of the tank. Anyhow, thought I'd put this up. Not going to be as big video with all kinds of effects and stuff, but I just wanted to get this up on YouTube and get some information from people that can help me out. It would be great. We'll see. Do a little pan of the tank here. Thanks, everybody. Let's see what we can do.
definitely doesn't show up great on iPhone 5S. If anybody says that the iPhone 7 is that much better, I'll switch it over because I'm sick of this phone, that's for sure. Had a good shot of the eel today, actually. The zebra eel came out of the tank, out of his hole. He lives up in here. Oh, there's his head. Look at that. Let me see if I can get rid of those background lights here for you. Just one second here. Sticking out, we went for a bit of a swim around the tank a little while ago. It was pretty cool. I was trying to find some food, is my guess. But there's that little dude right there. Tough to see in here, I think. He's about 18, eh, maybe 20 inches long, a little zebra eel. Got him a few days ago. He's fantastic. Oh, there's his mouth opening up and everything, too. So cool. I wish you could see it. A little dark, I think. Anyhow, that was more about the uh, copper banded issue. But if you could let me know, it would be much appreciated. Thanks, everybody. Have a good night.